Hello, let's bring you back. Um, hopefully you can hear this. I've noticed my videos are really quiet most of the time, unless I'm behind the camera speaking like this. Anyway, um, little catch up. Uh, where to start? I skived off early today from work. Still doing the the shutdown outage has doubled in length, so it's going to be another uh, another month or six weeks or whatever. So uh, we're doing stupid hours. Anyway, skived off early today. Went to my mate's uh, motorbike shop. Um, sort of went down there to maybe buy a. 1200 bandit to go with my v-strom as a different bike to sort of a naked bike to have fun on and keep the v-strom for touring long distance and uh pillion jobs with um tracy anyway so obviously i left there with a bmw r 1150 rt as you do um and traded in the V-Strom. So there you go. I now own a BMW shaft drive uh, boxer twin engine telelever suspension bike. I've had no experience of BMW motorcycles before. Um, anyway, I've got one now. So uh, I won't actually have it back home for probably about a week. Um, as usual, Colin's going to look it all over, check everything, make sure everything works, do a service. Uh, he's going to put two new tyres on it for me because uh, they were just about had it. So, And that's all in with the price he's done me. Good deal. Uh, got a good price back for the V-Strom as well, so well chuffed with that. He can still make a bit of money on the V-Strom and he'll be making money on the BM and I've got a good price. Uh, a good deal. So everyone's happy. Um, it's already got the full luggage on it and the heated grips and the electronic up and down adjustable screen and all sorts of stuff. Um, I'll have to find out. So it could be quite interesting for me because I've always only ever had Japanese bikes and one Triumph, which wasn't really a Triumph. It was a 90s Hinkley four-cylinder sort of Kawasaki Suzuki Triumph um, yeah so it's going to be quite interesting for me to work on uh, a boxer twin uh, with strange suspension uh, shaft drives okay I've had a couple of shaft drive bikes before which is good I don't have to be doing any chain and sprocket two hour long videos again uh, thank heavens for that you're all saying Anyway, so uh, I'll be back when it arrives and we'll get into uh, doing any little bits and pieces on it, like finding out where the battery lives to put a um, pigtail on it for the Optimate charger, etc. And uh, I'm going to swap my top box for its top box. It's got the BMW panniers on it, which are come as standard on it. Um, but it hasn't got the BMW top box, it's got a crappy old Givy top box, but I've got a nice Givy top box with a backrest, so that's going to get swapped. Um, anyway, enough of that, too many details. I'll be back in probably about a week or so when it arrives. So there you go, peace and love. Uh, thought I was going to have a my v -strom and a fun bandit and I've ended up with a BMW. So there you go. Uh, variety is the spice of life. Cheers, peace and love. I'm Springy. See you soon.